Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cody Carpenter. In this video, I want to show you guys how to import a custom tracking domain to use within ClickMagic. So in the previous video, I went over just like a basic overview of ClickMagic, the pricing, the one hour tutorial. So hopefully by the time you're watching this video, you have already signed up and watched the one hour tracking tutorial. So you're kind of familiar with this. If you haven't, uh, I want to recommend you to pause this video and go watch the one hour uh, tracking tutorial because all this might seem more clear after you watch that. All right, so this is how it looks. I'm in Click Magic, I'm in my links tab, and I made a link group called test group, and this is what I'll be using. So if you just signed up, your tracking link is going to have www.clkmg.com slash Cody Knows. You don't want to have that. Uh, let me just show you. Okay, so I made a little test tracking link. I just labeled it test track, test123, and I'm going to have the primary URL. In future videos, I'm going to show you how to place your affiliate link in here, but I'm just going to click create link. And then I'm going to preview it by clicking right here. And you can see it redirects me to Google. And when I refresh the stats, I'll see one unique click. Tracking these unique clicks is 90% of what Click Magic is for. Because we want to know what our customers are typing into Bing when they click on our links and to our sales page. And this is how we track it all throughout right here. And then that was just a test click. So I'm going to go and clear my stats real quick. And I'll be doing this a lot. You just go to Tools, Testing testing tool clear my stuff and then if I go back it'll give me a fresh a fresh start so that is a that's my test tracking link and I just feel like the best way to start out the click magic tracking uh, module is to show you how to get a custom tracking link instead of this link right here so I'm gonna go over two different ways to do this the first way is if you guys have a click funnels account and you have a domain there that you're using you can add a CNAME record within the domain zone in ClickFunnels to point to ClickMagic and then you can use it here. Um, so that's that's the way that I recommend you do it because let's say you got the domain bestproductsonline.com and you're using that for your landing pages. You can, you can put a CNAME record to be track.bestproductsonline.com or whatever. And that might sound confusing, but I'm going to clear it up for you. Uh, so that's the first way that I'm going to show you. But the second way is if is if you don't have your ClickFunnels account or you want to get your custom domain name through Namecheap, and I'll go over that too. So I'll jump into ClickFunnels here. And I just went, I hovered over my account and I went to Domains. And then I clicked on my free domain, which was Cody no CPA. And all I'm going to do is come down here and expand the edit zone records. I'm going to expand it. So you see they have the URL www, they have the alias, and then the txt. And there's a room, there's room down here to add a to add a C name. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. So the domain right now is codynocpa.com. So what if I wanted to add go in front of codynosecpa.com to be my tracking link. I could put go or codynosecpa.com or track.codynosecpa.com or purchase.codynosecpa. Okay, you can put whatever you want there and that'll be your custom tracking link. So for this example, I'm just going to put track for it and if you go over to the click magic FAQ section, just type in Namecheap integration and then it'll pull up how do I set up a custom domain with Namecheap and then this will pop up and you can read through it but I'm going to show you guys the simple C name and you might be thinking you're not even using uh, Namecheap right now you're using ClickFunnels but I'll just clear this up real quick all we need to do is put a C name record within ClickFunnels and this has www right there but we're gonna put track right here we're gonna point it to clickmagic.com and then that's as simple as it is. Then we'll just import it and that'll be our custom tracking link. So here I am and I am at the bottom. I don't want to mess with any of these three right now. I am just going to go down here to the blank slate, 
type in track and then the value www.clkmg.com and then I'm just going to save it and this is sort of a ninja trick because a lot of people get so uh, confused when it comes to uh, custom tracking domains but it's actually so simple to do and I'm just going to expand the uh, zone records to see if it's saved all right and you see C name track clickmagic.com so that's all good next thing we got to do is come to tools domain manager and then just type in what we added to ClickFunnels so we did track dot Cody knows CPA dot com setting up using C name DNS yes or a record no we didn't use a record just the C name for use with tracking links and click no for enable cloaking and you don't need to add a backup URL I'm going to add the custom domain right now but keep in mind if it gives you an error you might have to wait a few minutes so I'm gonna add it and look at that it, right here domain added successfully so I have a lot of tracking domains so as of now I have eight since I just uh, imported that one but right here you can see track.codynocpa.com so that's how simple it is I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to the test group I'm gonna open that link that I just made and instead of choosing this I'm going to choose the new domain that I got and then save changes so now we got track Cody knows cpa.com slash test one two three so that's the best slash most easiest way I can show you how to get a custom domain in into click magic so that's the first way I'm going to show you and next is going to Namecheap and buying a custom domain and then within your dashboard you'll see your drop down menu of all the domains you have just click on the domain that you purchased and it'll bring you to this page it'll actually bring you to this domain tab right here and then you just go to advanced DNS you only really need an A record when you're doing it this way and when you go through the FAQ it'll walk you step by step how to do this but really all you need to do is a record host at and then just type in the IP address of click magic and for the TTL just have it at automatic within the FAQ they also say to put a www for your host so you'll have Cody info and www.codynose.info for two separate custom tracking domains for that just walk through the FAQ uh, C name www and this would be the same way we did it with ClickFunnels like I don't have the WW set up right now so for the value I just change it to uh, clkmg.com or whatever I did over there and then same thing so those are the two ways to get your custom tracking domain and that's it for this video Peace.